What's up everybody, John Boy here. Welcome back to yet another video. Hope you're good wherever you are in the world. And today I wanna to share with you my export settings for Final Cut Pro so that you guys can get those sharp, crispy videos uploaded to YouTube with no compression and everything looks good. So let's dive in. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is jump into Final Cut and then you wanna create a new library and if you haven't done that before, you just go up to File, New, and then Create New Library. Once you've created a library, you come into your library and you wanna be in the Projects window here and then you need to create a new project. You can again do that by going File, New, and then Project or when you're down in the window here, you can just hit Command N and that will bring up the project window for you. So we're just gonna name this one test for YouTube. And then once we've done that, we want to select our video format as 4K. Now I do set all of my videos at the moment for both channels to a two by one format, which is 3840 by 1920. So in the resolution, you would just put 3840 by 1920. Oh, there we go. Uh, but that's just personal preference. I just like to do things a little bit differently and I just prefer this format. It's a, uh, it's a wider format and I just think it looks better for the type of content that I film. Uh, but if you wanna keep that at 4K, you just simply click on 4K up there, which is a 3840 by 2160 resolution. And then you select your frame rate at whatever frame rate you're filming in. So I'm filming in 24 frames per second, which is 23.98. Then when it comes down to the rendering, you want to select Apple ProRes 422LT. Now the LT is very important. This means that basically it's not going to be as higher file sizes as the rest of these. When you start going up to like um, this 444XQ up here, like these are not going to be massive render file sizes. like hundreds of gigabytes worth and uh, unless you've got an absolute ton of storage I wouldn't even entertain rendering in that kind of format even in like HQ here 42 HQ by doing it in LT it basically compresses everything just a little bit giving you far less file sizes and being able to actually film more videos or store more things on a hard drive rather than having like one video that's like four terabytes so you want to select your rendering as Apple Pro Res 422 LT and then when you come down to the color space, it'll be already standard Rec 709. Audio, just leave it as is. Audio is stereo and your sample rate is 48 kilohertz. And then select OK. And it's as simple as that to set up a project. Now for, for, this, for this tutorial, we're just gonna go back to this vlog that I filmed here and just select this for um, testing purposes. If you haven't subscribed, John Boy's Adventures, second channel, links below, all good fun stuff, daily vlogs and adventures and that kind of thing. So if that's the kind of stuff that you're into and you just wanna see a little bit more of my life and daily documenting and all that kind of thing, then jump over to John Boy's Adventures. It's a good time to be had and I'd appreciate you, uh, yeah, subscribing and giving me a little bit of support on that channel. That'd be awesome. Jumping back into Final Cut here, once we've got our project, we're gonna go over to the uh, export window here. Now, I've already got a couple of presets set up here, but what we're gonna do is set up your own preset so that you guys have got this in your Final Cut. So we're gonna go down to Add Destination and then we wanna, in this window here, under Destinations, we wanna click Add a Destination. This is going to bring up this window here and we want to click export file once you've brought up that it will come up with this and we can rename that to anything we want so we're just going to put youtube test and then just hit enter and then over in the format window, this is really important. We wanna go down to uh, publishing to computer. This means now that you're gonna, instead of having a WAV file, you're gonna create an MP4 file, which is a much better format to upload to YouTube. And uh, I'm basically adhering to the guidelines that YouTube actually say they recommend for you to upload your videos to YouTube to, to get the highest quality. So in the video codec, we're going to leave that as, uh, or the video codec even, we're going to leave that as H.264, faster encode, and then under the resolution, we're going to max that out right there. 
color space we're going to uh, obviously leave these as is because you can't change them and then under the action I'm just going to put save only because every time I export something I don't want it to keep throwing up a video on the screen which it will do if you don't select save only I don't like things interrupting my workflow when I'm like editing something else or working on a website or anything like that so I click save only and that ensures that it just does its thing renders it saves it exports it does what it needs to do and it doesn't bother me so that's it once you've got that saved you come over here to the export button again and you'll see that your preset is there saved under the menu so we're going to click this and this is now the really easy part you've got everything here you've got your resolution that you opened your video in obviously as i said before mine is a 2x1 format 3840 by 1920 you've got your frame rate there uh, stereo audio at 90 uh, sorry 48 kilohertz length of the vlog as well the length of the video and then you can see that it's in a dot mp4 file which is what we want to upload to youtube in and then the file size there so click next and all you're going to do is select the folder where you want to save it just click save and that's it easy as that and then you can actually see the progress of this video uh, exporting and see how far it is along if you go up to the top left hand window of final cut pro and you go to sharing under here you can then see it's currently waiting i am transcoding a load of stuff at the moment but once that's finished you'll see that this uh, progress bar starts to creep up and you'll see that it starts to export the video and that's it guys really short and simple one for you today i hope you liked that i just wanted to share with you my export settings so as that um, you guys can see how i get these nice crisp sharp videos uploaded to youtube without any compression uh, and how you can too i think one of the most important things when filming videos is to make sure that you get the picture quality and the sound as good as possible because without a good picture and without good sound no one is going to want to watch your videos so by doing this this will ensure that you get those nice crispy sharp videos if you're exporting in like 4k format so is that they're really nice for other people to watch so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video feel free to drop me a like below if you like this video subscribe if you aren't already it would be great to have you here and uh, hit the bell so you get notified when i post new videos and I will see you guys on the next one. Eep. Good video. Tutorial on Final Cut. I love learning things. I like teaching things too. Best flask in the world. Can't go wrong with a Yeti. Fill it with water and ice and it'll be cold for literally 24 hours. I love it. Yeah for YouTube with these export settings. And that doesn't make any sense, so we're gonna try that again. This has gone all funny. Why has my voice gone like this? Oh. <coughs> for God's sake. Lunchtime soon, very hungry. Chicken for lunch, I think, today. Whoop, whoop. And I'm not even recording screen, so let's record screen first. For God's sake, John. <coughs> I need to stop that because that's going to take up a lot of storage. Transcoding and analyzing. Ba 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 ram. I don't even know what is transcoding. Stop screen share. No. Time to get some lunch, I think.